Rossi, where do I start? Sum up the day. Uh, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I listen, um, excellent performance. Really, really excellent performance. Um, and it wasn't down to playing pretty football and you know moving the ball well. The foundation was set. You know, to start the game well. We worked hard. We dogged. We dogged. You know, we pressed. And Shaquille's first goals come from him pressing. Um, and as soon as you have that, and you build on that, and then you, then you've got the, the platform to go and play. Um, really, really pleased with the last day. Cause it's, it's not been an easy ten days. You know, the, the, the three one-nil losses and the, the four-three at Wimbledon. You know. It, we, we wanted to work on the problems we had, and they've shown it today, they've, they've been excellent. Let's take you back to the start of the game. Swindon came out of the blocks quite brightly, actually, and were dominating the opening 10 minutes. I think it's safe to say that Shaquille Colthurst, as you say, closing down, profiting from a mistake at the back. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we were a little bit still on the bus the first 10 minutes, um, so we've got to make sure that, that gets sorted. Um, but after that, I thought we were excellent. You know, we started the ball well. And, um, the, the pressing, you know, Dave Tarpin, Shaquille, Dave's been in the door one day. Um, and the way they're pressing the front today, we It sounds about the signing of Dave Tarpin. A lot of Barnet fans felt it was needed. A lot of Barnet fans were very excited about it. What did you make of his debut? Very good. Very good. Yeah, it's not easy to come um, sign on deadline day at the 11th hour and come in the next morning, get, you, get your work done and all new surroundings. So, you know, it's, it's probably been a very, very uh, overwhelming couple of days for him, but superb debut. Came off after an hour of the game. Is that just down to him not being fully up to full fitness? He's only played at a part-time club uh, for the past however many years. Yeah, listen, it was um, it was planned, and uh, you know when I spoke with the staff earlier, it was you know, how, how do we how do we keep going? How do we keep um, pressing pressing Swindon? And um, you know, like I said, you know the, the last few days we were taking out Dave a little bit, but um, he was he was he's fit as a fiddle. He's fit as a fiddle, and he'll he'll keep pressing all day. Came close to it, scoring a goal in his debut as well, hitting the ball. Yeah, yeah, it's a real shame that because that would have been the icing and the cake for him. But um, I'm, I'm so pleased to have him at the Cup Club. He's a goal scorer. Going back to today's game, though, Shaquille Colthurst putting a performance that will stand out, I'm sure. After last week's game, he missed a few good chances against Stevenage. The goal in midweek he scored and today's hat-trick will do him the world of good. Absolutely. You know, I've always said that you know, Shaq is a goal scorer as well. Um, it's going to take him a little bit of time to get up to speed. In the deep end, and he's had to, uh, you know, play 90 minutes, 70 minutes without having a proper periodisation program that, that we could have given him. But um, he deserves that match ball today. I thought he was superb, and he's been superb for a number of weeks. The work rate he gives the team. Um, he's got a first-class attitude in training, and he just wants to play. The first goal is a pretty simple finish. The second goal was a finish he should be doing every day, but a third goal, goodness me, talk us through that. It's just, it's just tech, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just technique. Uh, no, I'm really pleased with him. On the downside today, I'm sure you would have liked to keep a clean sheet, the goal towards the end of the game. Yeah, a little bit disappointed at that. Um, and I'll review that and I'll look at it again and we'll work on them things because, you know, for us to do well this season, we can't, we can't, that, that can't be happening. Whether you're 4 1 up or 0 0 or 1 0 one down, you know, we, we can't give away silly goals like that. And shortly after the goal, Andre Blackman making his league debut, he was st straight red card. Um, incident off the ball, but it happened right in front of the technical area. Did you see what happened? Do you know I didn't? Because I was watching the run, that, the other player going that way. So I have to review it. And if um, if there has been some funny business, I'll be the first one to tell Andre that I can't accept that. Overall, perfect way to respond to a derby defeat though last week. No, absolutely, absolutely. I was disappointed. I was very upset. Um, you know, I don't take losing well, and I hate losing. But um, you know, today the lads have really, really stood up for themselves, and you know, to come here at Swindon is, a, is an excellent place. Um, they, play, they play good football, they've got some really good players there and, and, and to, to put in a performance like that I'm really, really pleased with. But they've got to, put it, they've got to do it again next Saturday. That's, that's the consistency I'm looking for. And lastly, the argument that Swindon might say the red card that they got earlier in the game changed things doesn't really stand that strong considering you were already 2-0 up at that stage. Yeah, I don't know. You know I'm not going to comment on that. I, and again, I didn't see their red card so I don't really know what happened there. Um, all I can say is I'm really, really proud of, proud of the players today. They're, they're giving everything today.